just give it up to the youth. Blow to the squad if we win or we lose. It is in our veins that orange and the green when it through and through. Cause you know we want it. You squad versus ours, now they don't really want it. Our petty grids deep with pros and abundance. Get ready for the storm cause the hurricane's coming. Let's give it up to the youth. Blow to the squad if we win or we lose. It is in our veins that orange and the green when it through and through. Cause you know we want it. Your squad versus ours, now they don't really want it. Our petty grids deep with pros and abundance. Get ready for the storm cause the hurricane's coming. What's good, Miami Hurricane fans? I'm back at you with another one. All right, we got breaking news. The Miami Hurricanes have landed highly productive local running back Chris Whitley Humphreys. Yes, Chris Whitley Humphreys is a playmaker out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, he's in that 2024 class. Um, it looks like Miami's running back room for this year and next year is going to be very, very deep. Um, is going to add a lot. He's six foot, 175 pounder, average a ridiculous 16.7 yards per carry as a junior for the five and five Bulldogs team, while totaling 11,166 <coughs> 1, yards and eight scores. Now, Tim Harris Jr. Um, offered Whitley while a as a pre previous stop. Um, and then got one of his top overall targets here on Monday. Now, Louisville was in competition for um, Humphreys, but nevertheless, he took his talents to Miami. Um, he also said, really, when he first met the coaches, they showed him so much love and everything. He also said that the love and was very uh, was that was shown was very very appreciated um also they wanted him to be there and that's what that's the main thing about miami's recruiting right now you know getting these guys here wanting them to be there you know having them there to contribute you know saying the more debt we add to this team the more it's going to be successful for us in the, in the years to come because this year is a pivotal year for Miami and uh, Crystal Ball. So we have done very good this year in recruiting so far. And then stacking up for the 2024, just in case, you know, guys might leave for the draft, guys might leave for the portal, which we lost a lot to the transfer portal this year. And so, it, you know, ha getting depth back is going to be a, a sust substantially must for this, um, for this Hurricane squad. Now, inside the U also... Um, well, Whitley was talking to the inside you about what was going on. Shortly before announcing his commitment, he um, he also had built connections with everyone. Um, Coach Harris, when he was at UCL, so that that means a lot. So he already had connections and built relationships, and so it only makes sense for you know him coming to the Miami um, squad with Harris being already there. Uh, he was really cool. He said that he built a connection with him too. Uh, we had built a bond, and then you know he went to Miami. So I went, yeah, this might be good for me. So that I mean that's good because you have a coach that leaves, and if you build a bond and you feel like you could be a great asset for the squad, then why not come? Why not be a part of a program? You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, nevertheless, this guy, you know, he's pretty good um he's you know like i said he averaging like 16.7 yards so i mean that's ridiculous i mean people in the nfl don't really get you know have that so um but you know miami's you know they doing pretty good so also with um another tailback on board miami also has two local prospects on the board that the join Whitley, um, St. Thomas, Aquarius, wide receiver Chance Robinson that, you know, he, that got um, committed. Um, he also now has five commits with um, Gary Joy Jr., Jones County quarterback Judd Anderson that's also in the fold. He's out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Southern Lab, Nickel, Dylan Day, and Chevron Port, Louisiana, kicker Adam Murray so I mean that's you and then not not also mentioning along the way is that um Miami also locked down um um 
um, O-Lyman Juan Menayaya, if I'm pronouncing it right, he's out of um, New Jersey. I mean, um, he's 6'6", 330, massive. Now, that's the kind of lineman that Miami should get, you know, look forward to. Now, I'm going to say you ain't got to be 6'6", six, six, but at least 6'5", 6'4", six, 6'6". Six, six, six. That's, that's, that's great range right there because then guess what? When you got a guy that's massive, that could be on being on trenches, pushing that pushing that defense back, and your running backs cutting through the hole, and especially great pass protection for your quarterbacks, and create running lanes for your quarterbacks as as well too. So that's this to me. This is one of the probably good pickups. He become the like I say, he become the fifth one of the um, fifth commitments for Miami this month, you know, saying so let alone Miami just coming off their spring game over the weekend, you know, with some great feedback within within the things that they want they likely to do. So um I'm very you know, Miami's gonna continue to recruit. They gonna continue to recruit. They're gonna get things in order and everything like that. Now one, you know saying he's an interior offensive lineman that who has a lot of upsides and when he was 16 years old he was benching at he was benching 225 21 times so that's tell you how strong and how much strength this this young man had at the age of 16 and now that he's you know he's he's massive man and i'm sure if this dude pans out he's be one what we think he could be this guy has a bright future. He could be like the number one offensive lineman in the um, in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? To dra be drafted in the NFL. I say it like that. Um, but nevertheless, um, you know, he also has a basketball background, which means he brings athleticism to the guard spot. So that that's so so the dude is not just a freak of nature and big he's he's athletic and you want guys like that you want guys that's athletic that can move around push the pocket get downfield continue blocks and stuff like that i remember like when trent williams you know was with the washington washington um redskins at the time and then look what he's doing with the san francisco 49ers you want big offense alignments it's a shame that we don't get a lot of them in the nfl like they used to now this year in the NFL draft, there's a pretty good bit of offense alignments in there, great offense alignments in there. So teams that are looking for offense alignment in the NFL draft is going to pick them, and especially when they the need is so high at this moment. And this guy right here, you know, he probably most likely to be with Miami. He probably who knows? He might get the start. He might get some playing time this year. See what he can do. You never know. You you we never know. I mean, but you know, most likely for next year, you know this guy is going to be in there. He's going to be in the fold. So pretty much, um, um, he uh, he's, uh, he um, Mignano said that he loved the players, every single one of them. He said from starter to third string guys, the coaches they they coach hard, they love hard, and they coach. Um, every kid the same and they trying to develop every single kid like if they was going to the NFL which is I mean this is one of the things he also um, he had offers from Florida Michigan State Penn State Kentucky Pittsburgh and West Virginia among others Duke and Maryland was set to host for a official visit over the summer but the Garden State product is headed down south to help bring a title to go um, to Gore Cables. Hmm. And also, Miami is also is fresh off signing one of the nation's best offensive linemen class headed by two of the three highest ranked tackles in the nation with Francis Malunga and Sam Samson um, Okalunga. So, who are already showcasing themselves to be a member of the rotation in the freshman class. So, you got to think, that's a lot of depth on the offensive line. Just think how Miami is what Miami offensive line is going to look this year and they also is going to look next year too so they, Miami is going to have a really great offensive line you know and it's shaping up that way 
So Mulalonga is also projected to start at right tackle while Olakonga is the second team left tackle. Uh, Mayunga will figure to compete at guard where quality depth is an area of need at the moment. And address, and like I said, this guy, if he he comes in and impress and impresses Mario, this guy could end up being, he might end up starting at some point in this year. Just imagine what this offensive line going to look like. It's going to be crazy. Uh, Miami is bringing in some si more size in the interior with the massive Amani Younger and the incoming freshman like Tom, Tommy Kinsler, who also 6'6", 330, and Franklin telling them that's 6'5", 315. So, like I said again, Miami is beefing up that offensive line. They're going to be physical. They're going to be nasty. They're going to be Miami. Miami going to have one of the probably the best offensive line offensive line in the nation going into this year. So there's going to be a lot of rotation, and and I think that's what Mario is trying to do, bring enough in to have a lot of rotation at the offensive line where these guys don't get worn down and tired either. So that's a great thing. So. But, I mean, I like it. I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm seeing from Miami right now. So, I, I, man, being honest with you, I cannot wait till this season starts because you know what it's going to be about. Anyway, this is your boy, Lowry Sports Entertainment. I'll be back with you again. Um, like I say, again in my last video, May 1st, Kings on the Daily. Um, we'll be kicking off season two, and I'll be here bringing it to the you. Peace.